Assalamu alaikum. In this video, I am discussing a recall communication that is neonatal abstinence syndrome. So, neonatal abstinence syndrome, as usual, we start like IRCAP. Then, what is definition of neonatal abstinence syndrome? Uh, medication like tobacco and alcohol taken in pregnancy will pass through the placenta and will be absorbed by your baby. If during um, okay, if during the pregnancy the mother used any prescribed medication or illicit drugs that can cause physical tendency. Uh, then the baby may become dependent on these medications too. Following delivery, when the umbilical cord has been cut, the supply of the drugs to be uh, to the baby suddenly stops, and the baby may show the signs of physical withdrawal. So neonatal abstinence syndrome is that when mother was pregnant, okay, she takes some illicit drugs like cocaine, alcohol. This cocaine, alcohol, by placenta go the fetus, the baby inside her. Uh, okay, so baby also become dependent on this product. When after birth, we cut the umbilical cord, there is connection off from the mother and there is no again uh, the baby getting the alcohol or tobacco, these are illicit drugs. Then the baby show the withdrawal symptoms, withdrawal features. So what are the signs and symptoms of neonatal abstinence syndrome? Variable in severity from mild to moderate. Number one, a continuous high pitch cry. Okay, continuous high pitch cry. Number two, fast breathing that is tachypnea. Number three, irritability and restlessness and scratching of their faces. Number four, shaking, like tremors of the arms and legs, whether disturbed or resting. Number five is increase the muscle tone where the limbs feel very stiff. Number six, feeding difficulties, coordination of the sucking and swallowing, uh, frantic sucking. Number seven, excessive wakefulness, not settling or sleeping after a feed. Eight is sickness and vomiting. Nine, diarrhea with sore buttocks. Ten, fever, eleven, sweating. Twelve, excessive sneezing, weighing, hiccups. Number 13, less commonly fits or convulsion present in uh, neonatal abstinence syndrome. The signs and symptoms I am again repeating. Uh, the variable in severity from mild to moderate. Number 1, continuous high pitch cry. There is increased respiratory distress that is tachypnea, fast breathing. Number 3, irritability and restlessness and scratching uh, of their faces. Number 4, shaking like tremors of the arms and legs whether disturbed or resting. Number 5, increase the muscle tone whether the limbs feel very stiff. Number six, feeding difficulties, coordinations of the sucking and swallowing, frantic sucking. Number seven, excessive wakefulness, not uh, sitting or sleeping after a feed. Eight is sickness or vomiting. Nine is diarrhea with sore buttocks. Ten, fever. Eleven is sweating. Twelve is excessive sneezing, weighing and hiccups. Thirteen is less commonly feeds, that is convulsions. Okay. So what is the management of neonatal abstinence syndrome? We can divide it. First of antenatally, we are giving checking the maternal hepatitis B, hepatitis C, HIV status and decide on management plan for baby. So first of all, antenatally, we are checking maternal hepatitis B, C and HIV according to our plan. During labor, what happened? Revised notes regarding the drug doses and route of administration and last dose taken involve neonatal tip. So during labor, we will revise the dose last when she taken the medications, uh, what is the dose and what is the route like postnatally management okay do not give naloxone can exacerbate or withdraw the symptoms we will not give the naloxone because it is exacerbate the symptoms encouraging of the skin to skin contact and initiation of the early breastfeeding admit to the uh, nnu only if there are clinical indications keep babies who are not with withdrawing feeding well and have to child protection issues and their mother in postnatal ward if symptomatic starts medication according to the drug causing the condition this is subsequent management is maintain a normal temperature, reduce the hyperactivity, reduce excessive crying, reduce motor instability, ensure educate weight and sleep pattern, identify the significant withdrawal requiring pharmacological treatment, review the daily, start the pharmacological treatment um, after other causes excluded. If there is recurrent vomiting, number eight, profuse uh, watery diarrhea, number nine, poor feeding requiring tube feeds, number ten, inconsolability after two concentrated feeds and seizures okay and the drugs an opiate or opioid morphine derivatives is the most effective way to deliver the symptoms and when there has been uh, multiple drugs uses phenobarbital may be more effective uh, chlorpromazine uh, for babies of mothers who have use benzodiazepine okay so the treatment is first of all we are giving supporting management skin to skin care uh, if needed say ng feeding um, we are um, these are we are giving 
and the um, pharmacological treatment is what drug we give an opiate or opioid morphine derivatives is the most opiate or opioid morphine derivatives is the most effective way to relieve the symptoms and when there has been multiple drugs uses phenobarbital may be more effective um, chlorpromazine for babies of mother who use benzodiazepine so we are giving opiate or opioid derivatives or we are phenobarbital okay advice the mom after discharge some advice we give after discharge what is provide a quiet environment turning down the loud music or tv voices skin to skin contact as well as will help calm your baby decrease crying and help with feeding dress your baby with cool clothing and change frequently if they are uh, there are sweating feed the baby regularly frequent small feeds and more uh, diary and with feeding everyone must avoid the smoking cigarette or illicit drugs around him do not share a bed with your baby with follow um, the safer sleep okay so some advice also we give mother first of all uh, provide a quiet environment turning down the loud music tv voices skin to skin contact um, help calm your uh, baby decrease crying and help with feeding dress your baby with cool clothing and change frequently if they are sweating feed the baby regularly frequent small feeds and make diary with feeding everyone must avoid the smoking cigarettes or illicit drugs around him do not share a bed with your baby and follow the safer sleep special message we give what is never give your baby any drugs or medications that has not been specifically prescribed for by the gp if the baby appears pay, okay so special message we give the red flags and the Uh, that is the red flags are if the baby appears pale blue or gray in color has breathing difficulties or apparent appears to be fainting has a fit then uh, seek the medical uh, okay apparent to fit and uh, convulsion or it is floppy or stops breathing dial 999 immediately and ask for medical help so we are giving red flags first of all uh, Uh, that we are giving the we not give any drugs or medication without gp prescriptions uh, if you find the baby is becoming blue play gray color uh, you know the baby stop breathing uh, um, convulsion started like um, abnormal movements um, breathing difficulties these are you find then call the 999 and seek immediate the medical advice so this is all about neonatal abstinence syndrome uh, i'm telling the neonatal abstinence syndrome complications that is low birth weight poor fetal growth jundis sudden infant death syndrome developmental delay ear infections and vision problem thank you